Hey guys, it's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. We're going to be talking about sustainability moving into the grand solar minimum. For those of you that are prepping for things to come, it's important to have a source of meat, a source of vegetables. And while I was cooking dinner tonight, I realized that everything I was using had come from our ranch. The 100% sustainable meal from the ranch. And not only that, it contained things like red duroc, which is a pasture pig that can live in cold temperatures without any extra heat, and a short season cabbage that from seed can make a head in just under 90 days. And this cabbage can be stored long term for months in a root cellar if prepared correctly. It could also be left outside for long periods of time if you don't if you have the right pest control and there are different types of pasture breed pigs that you can just feed your organic scraps from your farm creating a circ circular sustainable loop their poop fertilizes the vegetables that they eat the scraps of and this continues in a circle also the biome that's created from their body and their poop has necessary bacteria that help keep the ranch clean and if you add chickens to the mix, the chickens eat the pig poop and then reprocess their poop and they poop out the poop and then the chicken poop can be almost used immediately as fertilizer. So these are things you want to be looking forward to moving in. So, uh, some of the qu common breeds of swine and how they differ. We went with Dura because we could get them eased locally for 100 bucks each, babies. And they grow very quickly. Within six months, you're harvesting the pig. Now we let them go about 10 months and we had over 700 pounds on the on the hoof and over 600 pounds of meat in the freezer when we were done. And that's what you get. So I'm going to quickly go show you this meal and the video I made and we can talk about it. So when I was cooking it, I realized, so what this has is Copenhagen cabbage, two types of local potatoes. These are called pink mountains. And this is a red bake, uh, a white baking potato, similar to uh, Yukon Gold. Now these potatoes were provided from our local extension office, which we'll talk about after this video. But it's all cooking in pig fat, pork belly fat. Uh, now we got half of the pork belly smoked into bacon, and the other half was left fresh, which you're looking at here. This is fresh pork belly, fried, and then I used the fat after I fried the meat to cook my vegetables which gives us an extra protein source, a delicious organic fat I know has nothing bad in it, and it's very healthy. You might think it has a lot of calories, but neither I or my partner are overweight, and we eat tons of fat. Fat is healthy, guys, and if you know how to cook, so this is a full sustainable meal, which is a grand solar minimum meal. I mean, think about it. The cabbage is storable in winter for months without rotting, as long as it doesn't freeze or get below. It can actually freeze. It can go 28 and probably won't freeze. The potatoes have been storing. All these things have been storing for months, and they're as fresh as can be, and I just store them in the dark in the barn. We're going to have root cellars, but we're still building this permaculture ranch, so we're not 100% set up. But even not being set up, you could be storing these in your garage. You can grow potatoes in buckets, even if you live in an apartment. You don't need that much space. You need two square feet, and you could be growing potatoes. And you can grow Copenhagen cabbage in a, a raised bed or on a gar, in a box. You can raise three or four heads of cabbage in one single small raised planter on your patio. And that would give you 10 to 20 pounds of cabbage for all winter. That's, each head is quite heavy, depending on how well you grow it. And then the pork, if you have a freezer, stores forever, and you have animal fat, animal protein, meat in the form of chops, ribs. I mean, you have to see what we have. We are totally set up. So this would be a grand solar minimum meal. And this is two types of potatoes, which I fry first in the pork fat for about 10, 15 minutes till they're soft. Add the cabbage, steam it for 10 minutes, and then open up the lid and stir fry the whole thing. It's delicious, and you add a couple strips of the bacon. Oh my goodness. Well, it isn't bacon, remember, it's pork belly. There it is. Let's go back over to the pork belly. Red duroc. Delicious. 
Grand Solar Minimum Meal. Fully sustainable, 100% from the farm. The only thing I added was salt and a little pepper. So it's a heads up there. Now, what you want to do when you get into your area, if you're staying in your area or moving to an area, is find your local county extension office immediately. Now, I'm going to send you, give you links to this on how to find your extension service by zip code. You just pop it in and it tells you where they are. This is where you can source local proven seeds from the last year for almost free. Now, I get my potatoes from the local extension eight miles from here in May, the first week of May. You order them in the spring. Uh, for 50 cents a pound and these are organic proven potatoes that are going to produce in your area They seed save for you and there's other seeds in Colorado We have hemp seeds that are legal to grow now and other things that you can get from the extension office including meadow mixes grass seeds and other grains So it's important to locate your extension office and have a talk with them and see what they offer to local farmers so that you can Get off to a very successful start because if you use what they offer, you're going to be successful every time. So this is a really good piece of information for you to know if you're not aware of it. Now as far as the seeds I choose, you always want to choose heirloom seeds or local seeds. So these are Copenhagen cabbage came out in the late 1800s. It stores long. It was marketed for that. And why wouldn't you be growing it? You can seed save from it so that you can always be uh, providing yourself with seeds that you need to make more food every year. So that's a good heads up. And Copenhagen market seeds are relatively inexpensive. You get a pound of them for 14 bucks. If you started with 300 seeds and you let 30 of these go to seed, you would then have your own quarter pound of seeds the next year. So for just two bucks, you could have a harvest and $6 worth of seeds in the end. We'll be doing videos on seed saving because each plant has its own unique type of saving technique and we'll be covering them as time progresses. I'll leave you links to the 17 pasture pig breeds to raise for flavorful pork. The people who purchase our pork from the local community rave reviews and they keep coming back because it's organically raised and it's a heritage breed and they're living naturally and my gosh, a happy animal is a delicious animal. Another, some more interesting about the Duroc breed, came, it originated in 1865, known as the Duroc Jersey Hog. The jersey's been removed. They're reddish, sometimes they have spots. Some, their ears are supposed to flop over, but ours had pointy ones because they had some Berkshire in them. It's popular because they can raise up to 20 piglets annually without any help of any vet, vets. You just put a boar in there, get your lady knocked up, take the boar out, and she can dig her own hole and farrow these pigs on her own. Prolificacy is the ability to produce large numbers of offspring, and these pigs have that ability. So within six months, you can have a pregnant hog who will then have babies at the end of the year, and then you can harvest that hog and grow the babies and so on. It's very easy um, to grow Durox, and they're really friendly, just like dogs. It's very difficult to slaughter them. So there's a heads up. <laughs> and that's this is what one of our guys looked like. We had Petey and Polka, and they're really part of the family. And you really appreciate the quality of the meat and what they've given to you and your family when you raise them. You also know exactly what you put into them. Guys, we want to keep su supplying you with more of these uh, educational videos. And we started a Patreon to help support our project. And what we want to do is offer special incentives to some of our uh, more enthusiastic supporters and subscribers. So by subscribing our educational programming, you can come here and read about it. For as little as $1 a month, we'll send you some free open pollinated organic seeds from all our vault. You just request whatever type of seed you want and we'll get them out to you once a year. That's just for $12 a year. It's a dollar a month to become a patron and a supporting member. For two bucks, we're going to have live streams for everyone on Patreon. This is a private live stream just for you guys that care about the educational piece here. And we'll be able to chat live and you'll be able to ask questions once a month in this format. And we also have a level at $5, the co-creator level, five a month, and a level at 10 a month, a team member. Now these members get free access to the ranch all year, our campsites, our permaculture farm, 
the wolfing site, and they can come and be co-creative and work with us and learn about permaculture, alternative building designs, geothermal greenhouses, or just hang out by the river and eat free food. So at the co-creator level, if you're ever coming up or down in this area, I would implore you to get involved at that level. And you could save the 20 bucks a night we charge for our campground. It's free, and you can access the ranch anytime as long as you call us in advance. So that's at the co-creator and team member level. And you can read about the incentives uh, on our Patreon page here. Mostly I want to be sharing our seeds. I save a lot of seeds, and these are local, open source, open pollinated, organic seeds that I've been saving. And I have a lot of interesting varieties, and I like to help you get some brassica seeds if you're from around the Four Corners area from uh, our stock so that you can have excellent success. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do so now. If you're interested in help supporting our work on Patreon, please become a Patreon. We just launched it a few hours ago. Be safe.